Here is my worship. Here is my worship. All of my worship. This is my worship. All of my worship. This is my worship. All of my worship. This is my worship. All of my
the good God, yes, he did. He lit me up. He lit me up. I don't know how to pray, I don't pray enough. 
I might not know how to speak in tongue enough for my own, me and my family. Praise is my weapon. Because I, joy overflow, joy overflow in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflow in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. I we praise your name. I we worship you. Ah, glory, hallelujah. I sing a new song to the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Sing a new song to the Lord. Ah, wait till I go give to you my praise. You 
are, you are the living God, oh. He said no one like you. Hey, boo, hey, babe.
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful, wonderful time of praise, of worship that we have just had today. God truly deserves all our praises, all our thanks, and all our worship. Uh, Psalm 29, 1 and 2. Psalm 29, 1 and 2. The Bible says, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Hallelujah. Three times God emphasizes giving unto the Lord glory and strength. Say, O oh, ye mighty. Are you mighty? Are you strong? Are you powerful? Are you rich? Are you wealthy? No matter how mighty you can be, there is an almighty. And the Bible says we should give unto him. Give unto him. Give unto him. January to this first day of July. Ah, who else deserves all glory, all honor? other than the almighty God who has kept you and I alive to see this day. We give him praise indeed. We give him all glory, all honor, and all adoration. And every day of our lives, we remain thankful to the almighty God for his protection, his provision, his preservation over you and I, all our family members, his church, and the nations of the war. We truly, truly give God all the glory. Welcome to the seventh month. Hallelujah. Welcome to the month of July. Welcome to our month of perfect peace. Perfect peace. In December 2019, God told us that July 2020 will be our month of perfect peace. And what a faithful God. If we need perfect peace at any point of the year, this is the time that we need perfect peace. Because considering all that we've been going through since the beginning of the year. And scripture says, Isaiah 26, 3, Isaiah 26, 3, you will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts 
in you. Beloved, this is our scripture for the month. And I want you to memorize it. I want you to keep confessing it as many times as possible every day. Saying, Lord, you will give me perfect peace because my mind is stayed on you and because I trust in you. And as you are confessing it, it becomes a capsule that will guarantee you peace on every side. And not just any kind of peace is going to be perfect peace in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you once again to the seventh month, our month of perfect peace. Hallelujah. Genesis 8.4. Genesis 8.4 says, Then the ark rested in the seventh month. In the seventh month, the ark of Noah rested. In this seventh month, <laughs> you are coming out of lockdown to break through. The ark where we have been locked down is finding rest finally in this seventh month. In this seventh month, ha, there will be rest on every side. Rest from the pandemic, rest from the plague, rest from trouble, rest from worries, rest from anxieties, rest from fear. The Lord who gave Solomon the testimony of rest on every side, so that there were no more adversaries nor any evil occurring. Henceforth, there will be no more adversary against you and your family members. There will be no more evil occurring in our land, in our cities, in our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank God that we are seeing the beginning of the seventh month. We shall see the end of not just this month, even this year. And many, many years to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. On a day of praising God like this, as we have read uh, in that Psalm, Psalm 29, give unto the Lord, give unto the Lord. Give unto the Lord, not just our praises that we have done, hallelujah, our worship, our dancing, our clapping, our shouts of joy. Let's also give unto the Lord our tithes and our offerings. Remember, God loves a cheerful giver. And every sacrifice unto the Lord always provoke blessings. May you provoke overwhelming blessings from the Lord this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, prayer revival conference starts from this Sunday, 5th of July, to Sunday, the 12th of July. It will be the first virtual prayer revival conference and it promises to be wonderful. It promises to be great. There shall be showers of blessings in the name of Jesus. And I love the theme that the Lord gave us. The theme is, the siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you at PRC 2020 Virtual Prayer Revival Conference. And I look forward to being with you at all our other midweek meetings as well. God bless you. Thank you for joining our Praise Fest. It has indeed been a wonderful night of praise, of worship, and of thanksgiving to the Almighty God. Yeah, somebody put on your dancing shoes. No more oppression. Hallelujah. Now